Hey, it's James Murray, and we're in a very, very crowded Net News Ledger newsroom with a group of advocates for Hammershold High School. Now, as you're probably aware, the Lakehead Board of Education is going to be choosing a high school and making changes. And I'm joined today by Sherry, Christine, Clinton, Caleb, and Gracie, who want to share with you what Hammershold means to them. We'll start with you, Gracie. Why should they keep Hammershold open? Well, Hammershold has a history of like a really long time and I know this because like my grandpa was one of the first vice principals at Hammershold and like all my aunts and uncles have gone there my parents have gone there um, it has like a really great environment for Caleb Hammershold why well, I recently transferred from uh, Westgate Collegiate Institute, so that's for second semester of grade nine, and um, Hammershold has already been a big difference for me with their academic and athletic program, because it's just, there's such a long history of excellence going through there that they have a solid foundation to provide to all, to provide to all the students, sorry. And um, it wouldn't make sense to close Hammershold because you're essentially destroying a legacy and we already have 1,000 some odd signatures of people who have said that they care about keeping Hammershold open and saying you can't close this school, You're, you'll displace a bunch of kids first of all and many many of the people I've spoken to have said they won't even go to Superior if, it, if Hammershold closes because they don't want to. What's your sport? My sport, I play football and I do track as well. Okay, so yeah, the Vikings have a long... Um, <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> going back to when I used to watch, I never played. But back when there was grade 13, so I'm dating myself big time. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Hammershold for my grade 13. Clinton, what does Hammershold mean to you? Uh, so besides Hammershold's like, history and their administration, friendly staff, great students, Hammershall has a size for high school, so they have 200 plus parking spots. They have a separated safe bus loading zone that's separated by, for, by curb. And they have a student drop-off zone uh, by the, the front of the school so students can access the office easily. And uh, it's, it's just like, Hammershall is I don't know. Um, it's very. Uh, it's a really safe environment for all students, especially um, not just the students that are in the academic program and the applied program, and that uh, the, the students in the special needs program. There's a there's a road that attaches to the parking lot and wraps around the school that uh, student, uh, special needs students can uh, get transported from their home to school and vice versa, which is really great for all parents because a lot of people are, uh, a lot of parents of special needs students are really worried about that. What does Hammershold mean to you, um, Hammershold means that it's, an, it's a safe environment for my son with special needs to go to. They have two great special needs programming um, the Avenue One and the Annex class. They also have this newsland room. They have the car room. They have um, the the soundproof room that's going into the the sensory room now. They're upgrading all their equipment for the special needs students. Um, they have the augmented. They have the hearing program. They have the PICS program. They have the augmented of speech. Um, they have a great special needs facilitator and they also have a really great um, history for um, academic and success rates. I know my nephew, he, he went there and he came out before he graduated and he's going for his electrician job. They have great trades like... So it's it, got everything. It's, it's got everything to offer and more. They got um, the football field, the soccer field, the tennis courts, they got the ice rinks on the property. You don't have to cross the street to get to anything. They have all the parking. They have the school right next to them, which is younger. And I've seen those younger kids when the students are in, come and utilize this, the space in the field. 
and it's just a very welcome environment. They also have the, all the flags out front because um, Dag Hammarskjöld was the head of the United Nations. Okay, that's so it's, a, it's where you want to have your kids go. That's to where I want to have my kids go to school. Sherry, you're Viking up. <laughs> What's the story? Uh, I'm vikinged up as a Westgate tiger, I'm a Westgate tiger, so it's taken a little bit to get used to the red. Um, we live on the south side of the city and we've chosen to send our son to the north side of the city because of the opportunities that Hammerschild has. Um, they have a legacy of academic and athletic and co-curricular excellence. And not only that, for me, Hammerschold means opportunity in the future. So we believe the board's being very short-sighted and looking at this as a um, short-term solution to funding issues that they're having um, to build on to the school at Superior to accommodate the Hammerschold students. A 16 classroom addition only accommodates the Hammerschold students they're projecting for the years 17, 18, 19, 20. What happens if the ring of fire takes off and we have an influx of people coming to, this, to the city? Where do those students go if they'd like to be in Northside secondary um, accommodations? There's nowhere for them to go. So not only is it centrally located in the highest growth area of the city, next to the major corridors, the highway, Red River, Avenue, John Street Road, on a lot that is five times as big in outdoor space as what Superior has to offer. But you could take every Superior student today, put them into Hammerschold's facility and have seven to ten classrooms empty. So we have a lot of room for growth, a lot of room to build on what's there, um, and room for generations of students, mm -hmm. not just this generation we're talking about now. And I think that's one of the big things that we want brought forward is it's very short-sighted to just look at what's going on now with not taking into account and planning for what could happen in the future and mm -hmm. do we have room to expand on that site? That's, that's a really good point because while Superior has all the latest technology built into the school, here in space to add to it you'd be taking away all of the outdoor space and all the green space that the city actually has bylaws that you have to have. Mm -hmm. And where do those people park? Um, what happens with the traffic? Things like that. But then if you need to build again, where do you go? Yeah. And we're talking, uh, there's this conversation going on right now about a third story on Superior. Mm -hmm. That's only conjecture at the moment. They haven't been given permission by the city to do so. They haven't uh, received any clearance or funding from the ministry to do so. The same plan was attempted at Woodcrest mm -hmm. and they ended up not being able to go up and having to go out. If they go out, the only place they have to go is the one field that they use for every sport, track, football, soccer. They have nowhere to go. Hammerschild could easily go out and still not touch the track, the football field, the yep. tennis courts, the ice rink. So there's so much room for the future. It makes no sense to shoehorn everything in for a temporary stopgap on a problem that we're having now without looking out at what can happen in the future to this city and, and what we may need for growth in the future. Okay. With Hammerschel, they've got alumni all over the world, all over Canada all over everywhere. And we found that during the 50th anniversary celebration for the school. For everybody who wants to get involved and help do something for the school, what should they do? I'll let whoever wants to throw in. Um, well, the most important thing that the board has told concerned members of the community is that board trustees want to hear from the community. So um, we're asking people to email all of the trustees mm -hmm. with their concerns. Um, they can call the trustees. We have an online petition that we've started that we will be providing every trustee. Um, it's if you go to change.org and search choose Hammerschold. We'll just have that right down here at the bottom. Of Perfect. The so uh, comments on that will be provided to the trustees. Uh, people have made very articulate, very well thought out arguments for the school, whether they're alumni or not. Um, 
and really doing everything they can to just help us uh, raise awareness about the issue. But the board has stated that they want to hear from all of the concerned uh, parties, businesses around, everything like that. So we're asking people to make sure that they're making their voices heard. There are also two public meetings that are being held. So the first one is at Superior. Uh, it will be April 11th at 6.30 p.m. The second one will be at Hammersholt High School at 6.30 on June the 8th. The trustees will be in attendance and they want to hear from the public about uh, their opinions about the plans and what people are looking for, what they're concerned about, what they want to see come out of this process. So it's basically go Vikings Absolutely. and make it happen. Absolutely. So it's up to, it starts with you and then it starts with you in the community to make your voices heard. Thank you for coming in. I'm James in Net News Ledger. Thanks for watching.